Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, today is Thursday, May 16th, and uh, it is uh, about 8 o'clock here in Minnesota. Uh, I am just getting up. I'm not feeling the best this morning, but uh, I'm determined to get moving. And I was watching something on depression and how to deal with depression. And you uh, and I both know that there are a lot of people out there that suffer from depression. I am one of them. Uh, I used to have it pretty bad. Um, I never did take an antidepressant to get rid of it. Um, it kind of just went away on its own after I quit drinking. And, uh, you know, I want to give an encouragement to those people that are out there fighting depression. Um, you know, I know it can be a long, hard battle. And it can be very weary and weary on uh, our families and, and our own mental health and our, our physical condition and everything. Don't give up. I want to give this powerful motivational, you know, talk to you because I really think that there is life after depression and uh, the suicide rates are extremely high right now uh, dealing with everything in society and I just want to give every little bit of ounce of hope I can to anybody out there dealing with this because uh, I fight too, you guys. I, I, I'm right there with you. Uh, not every day is, is roses and rainbows. So, hey, let's make May 16th a great day. This Thursday today, here is our thought for today. So in the story of the Good Samaritan... The wayfarer fell among robbers and was left lying in the gutter, half dead. And a priest and a Levite both passed on the other side of the road. But the good Samaritan was moved with compassion and came to him and bound up his wounds and brought him to an inn and took care of him. Do I treat other and other alcoholics like the priest and the Levite or like the good Samaritan? Never weary in prayer when one day you see how unexpectedly your prayer has been answered. Then you will deeply regret that you have prayed so little. Prayer changes things for you. Practice praying until your trust in God has become strong. And then pray on, because it has become so much of a habit that you will need it daily. Keep praying until prayer seems to become, become communion with God. That is the note on which true times of prayer should end. So today we pray that we may form the habit of daily prayer, and we pray that we may find the strength we need as a result of this communion. I hope you guys all have a great, safe, and sober uh, Thursday out there. Reach out if you need anything. Otherwise, see you on the next one. Hi, another thing I wanted to mention, too, was that if you do need to go on antidepressants, I would highly suggest seeing a therapist or a psychiatrist and um, at least trying an antidepressant if you haven't in the past. And if you have in the past before and maybe it's something that you're against, I would uh, reopen up your heart and try it again because those can have uh, miraculous effects, too. All right. Thank you, guys. See you on the next one.